Welcome or welcome back to Solo Marvel Champion. This is just a fun video while I'm recording and editing my Groot playlist. If you're watching this in the future, you'll be able to find that playlist on a card here in the corner and in the description. A few weeks back, I made a video called Random Evil Masters about changing the contents of the Masters of Evil encounter set. Today, I want to take that a step further and show how you can really change up how a villain behaves with a little bit of kit bashing. The term kit bashing comes from modeling. It's the practice of making a new model by taking pieces out of kits. These pieces may be added to a custom project or to another kit. So in the context of this game, we'll replace a few words to get. Kit bashing is the practice of making a new experience by taking cards out of sets. These cards may be added to a custom project or to another set. This is what I did in Random Evil Masters. But this definition doesn't include something else common to kit bashing, which is that sometimes you need to make new pieces or cards. I'll show you this card shortly. So let's make a new experience with Claw, which I call Claw's Core Comrades. I'll start with the Masters of Evil encounter set and ditch its minions, and add all the cards from City and Chaos except for its side scheme. This preserves the size of the Masters of Evil set, but Rhino doesn't have the Masters of Evil trait. I'll come back to that. Now I'm going to add Vision's Nemesis set, Ultron. Ultron also doesn't have the Masters of Evil trait, and this adds five extra cards to the encounter deck. I've got both of those covered with two new custom environment cards. Let's look at the first, called Upgraded Minions. During setup, name a minion trait, and minions from encounter and nemesis sets gain the trait and zero or more of these text upgrades. I could name Masters of Evil and keep the original minions from that set. It wouldn't make them any more Masters of Evil, but it would let me add some of these text options to make them more difficult. For Claw's core comrades, I'm going to name Masters of Evil so that Rhino and Ultron gain that trait and are thus able to interact with the side scheme and treacheries from Masters of Evil. I'm then going to choose a single option, Villainous. Now, Claw's core comrades has three villains, Rhino, Claw, and Ultron, which of course are the villains from the core set, with Rhino and Claw becoming Masters of Evil. Next, let's take a look at environmental issues. This has two options and you can choose one or both of them. The first interacts with the card type environment. Search the encounter deck and discard pile for an environment and put it into play. It gains permanent. This lets me find the Ultron drone's environment, put it into play, and ensure that it can't leave play. If Relentless Android is revealed, I will get two drones. If Ultron Unleashed is revealed, I just ignore the first sentence because Ultron Drones is already in play. The second modifies the actual game environment. Name one or more encounter and or nemesis sets, cards from the named sets gain Surge. At setup, I'll name the Vision Nemesis set. So now when Relentless Android is revealed, it will also Surge. By choosing this option, you can add as many encounter or nemesis sets to the deck as you'd like without them clogging it up because they'll replace themselves just like the expert cards do. But, and it's a big but, don't go overboard with this. I'd only use this to add a single set, or maybe two small sets, because if everything is surging, you're just playing Ronin. So that's how I kit bashed Claw. I added some cards from City and Chaos to the Masters of Evil set, added Vision's Nemesis set, and created a couple environments of my own. My environments might need a little revision to make them read correctly, but I hope you can see the design purpose. I'd love to hear or see your experiences with Claw's Core Comrades. Comment, like, and sub if you want to. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day.